a statute of limitations or not. Again, it's this. We're talking about uh, people who have been uh, severely victimized, and they have gone through years of trauma. And it's hard for someone to come out and speak about uh, such heinous acts that were on their body that that happened to them, emotionally, uh, physically even spiritually for an individual to go through such a thing. My heart breaks for them. I support them. It's what is the right law or language of a bill that gets the, again, two houses as well as the uh, governor to agree uh, so that we, justice can happen. Um, are you concerned at all about how a look back window could financially uh, impact institutions well, like sure. Look, if there's no no question. Should should someone who uh, committed such heinous act pay a severe price? Absolutely. Um, but let's not forget. There's a lot of people out there that will try to use any any type of uh, and use an excuse of gaming the system too. So I want integrity in the system or of the law so that we don't have a bunch of frivolous lawsuits that just lines the pockets of lawyers as well as um, cost the taxpayers dearly and then brings no justice for those who've been bound by uh, such trauma in their life. Can I ask about the IDC real quick? So you're about to go into session and Democrats have reunited. What does that mean? We have this uh, upcoming elections. Democrats could take a hold of those two seats. What would that mean for the capital region and the voice of the voters here in the capital region who right now are represented more by Republican uh, senators like yourself than they are by Democrats? Look, New York State needs a balance. It needs a balance in its government. And there's no question. We know what it looked like in 2009 and 10 when there was absolute one, one party rule in Albany. Uh, and unfortunately, whether it was the Capital Region, or whether it was the Finger Lakes Region, or whether it was out west, or whether it was up north, upstate New York suffered se severely. And we board to have one party rule uh, and have New York City and the influence of New York City Democrats rule all branches of government in the state of New York. Are you concerned about the upcoming election and about this reconciliation that's happened? I think the people of New York need to uh, be engaged in this upcoming election. And it's no question. It's up to the it's up to the voices of the people. They have the voice. They have the power, and it's called their vote. And if they want a balance, and they want uh, justice, and if they want equality, and if they want affordability and opportunity and security, then they need to keep the balance in Albany. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time.